you know, all these studies we're doing are great, but those dead people can't talk. They can't. They can't send a questionnaire, and right. they can't answer online. Right. Uh, you know, where I grew up on Rocky Springs Road, there's Grace Cole. Mm -hmm. There's one other lady on that whole road that's still there, that's still alive. Everybody else is deceased. So you know, it, it, no one has ever said what makes up a cancer cluster. We've asked the question a number of times, and we still haven't got an answer, and we probably never will. But whether you call it a cluster or whatever you want to call it, it happened. It's there, and there's not many of us left. So, you know, when, when, when I hear a person from the government say, well, we're going to fix it, but it's going to take a while. But damn it, it's taking 50 years now. <laughs> How much longer is it going to take? I, you know, it's like they said, if, if, if the business I'm in, if we have a spill, the EPA is right there. But when we have people dying from what's happened in the last 50 years, and it's going to take a while. Well, that, that's not good enough for me. And I don't think it's good enough for any of these other people right. in here. Right. We're tired of waiting. Dr. Brookmeyer has been the best thing that's happened to us because yes. she's worked with us. But this has all been swept under the rug for way too many that's years, true. and it's time it came out on top. So thank you for listening. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay, it's very important that we get to the people that were here in the 40s and 50s and 60s because I've talked to several people who just aren't quite involved that their parents just died with cancer that lived on uh, Camp Plain. So, and also we have people that lived in the area in the 50s and 60s that have moved away. So, the information that they're gathering here about when you had the cancer, when you lived in the area, is very important. So, we, I don't know if there's a way to get this, assimilate this information that, gee, uh, um, the camps aren't on there, why aren't they on there? Um, and that we could get back with some feedback. Maybe it won't be 100% accurate, but you know, that that person died from cancer and their, their family's all gone and passed now, those people will be forgotten. So if you know anybody, when you're doing your surveys or you're talking to people, encourage them to answer these surveys. It's very important. And to be honest with you, I think that there uh, should be some financial commitment from Dietrich or the area of the health department to see that these things are fulfilled somehow or another. Uh, maybe help with the newspaper ads or something because that's the only way you're going to be able to get this information. None of that information is stored on a computer anywhere, really. And so in order to get that, we've got to interact with the, the people out there. So if any help could be given in that way, it would be appreciated. Yes, and I guess this would be an appropriate time for me to tell you that the state of Maryland cut the local health department budget <laughs> by 40% in the last two fiscal years. So uh, clearly the taxpayers have spoken that they are not interested in supporting core public health activities.